What is going on, adventurers and draconians? Draco Invictus here with part two of our Road to 80 Neverwinter Mod 17 playing as the Gith. We are playing Draco and Githus, a female Gith rogue, and she's decked out in her dragonborn armor. Well, it was free and it's a fashion set, so what can I say? Um, I did go ahead off camera and uh, finish out the coloring scheme. Uh, you guys will have to let me know here. Let me zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see it. You'll have to let me know what you think. Is it vibrant enough? Obviously, this is not going to be a long-term thing. I, 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 I want to play a rogue as a rogue, but right now, the armor looks like shit. So... <laughs> We are going to pick up right where we left off with uh, part one, and we are heading to the Black Lake District. All right, so here we are in the Black Lake District. We're going to come over here and talk to Private Hawthorne as instructed. Get our quest going on here. We got two quests, and I happen to know that one of them is come talk to this vendor. And that quest is done, and we've got three more health potions. Now, what's interesting is that this gal does not offer the quest right out the gate. She used to, but she does not anymore. So we're searching for clues. And uh, there's going to be one clue over here, following our little glitter trail here. And um, I do have to uh, mute my phone. Let's do that. And we'll put it over there on the bed. So... There we go. Yes, I sat on the bed. Right now I'm staying in the basement of my buddy's place. And uh, my bedroom is also where my desk is set up. Because I'm, well, in the basement. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just going to run around. Uh, let's kill these guys, huh? Just say we killed some guys. Oh, more guys? Oh, you like that? Ooh, I'm just gonna run around. Oh, those guys died. That guy died. <laughs> All right, having some fun with the uh, new encounter powers that we have for our level eight rogue. We've got our three clues. Time to return to Hothadin. Hothadon. Naga, Naga, not gonna work here anymore. Anyway. Black Lake District is a dangerous place. All right. Talk to this guy. Here we go. There's level nine dead rats. We are heading into the dungeons, and now this gal has her quest: recover the stolen goods. So we're gonna do that first. We're gonna do the recover the stolen goods first. Because I know that we have to go down to the sewers for the the other one, so. What's up? Just hanging out? Mysterious drow. Alright, um. Let's see here. Let's uh, jump over here. Take all the. Ah, uh, see? Stack of. A uh, sack. A sack of stolen goods. Do you guys have a. A sack of stolen goods? You do. And there's a thievery skill kit right here. Ooh, two quarts. Watch out, guys. I'm gonna be wealthy. There we go. And the last one. Someone attacking me? No? Okay, cool. Now we are not going to return to her yet, because th that way when we get turn in the sewers quest that we're fixing to do right now, we can turn them both in at the same time. Alright. I knew it. Oh, I got three. Okay. Three out of four is not bad. Got a little poison damage going on there.
Yeah, don't let those encounters go to waste. I mean, yeah, they may have a little bit of uh, downtime, you know, as you're recuperating them and stuff like that, but where's the trap? Oh, there it is. I mean, out of line of sight. Uh, what? I gotta be standing on the damn thing. That's a bunch of bullshit right there. Oh my god. You guys need to fix that. Yeah, that's crap. Y you would think as a rogue, I should have no problem. Oh, now it pops up. <laughs> yeah, that was stupid. Alright. I'm already healed up from it, so it's not that big of a deal. Look at this guy. Didn't even need that last one. But yeah, encounter powers are meant to be used. You know? Now there are times where <clears throat> I could kill something just as fast, uh, like with my barbarian or something like that. I'm running around and I could kill something just as fast with my at wills as I could with an encounter. Then I may not use it. Uh, save that encounter for the next encounter. But, uh,. For the most part, no. I always make sure that I use my encounter powers. And if you look ahead and go, ooh, there's a big baddie over there, then we'll hold off a second. Let him recuperate. Just like I did there. Just kind of do that hesitation really quick. Flea bottom. All right, Flea Bottom. There, Flea Bottom's dead. I'll see what I can do. Oh, now we gotta flip it. Flip the switch. So we can get this little treasure chest down here. Of course, all this low level treasure, not much to be had down here, but We'll take what we can get, right? Yeah, a potion of minor healing. Haven't used one yet. Six cords. So I get any XP for disarm? Oh, look, now the traps are working. I don't know if I get XP for that or not. Let's see. Watching the little bar. Mm, if I did. Well, here. 1402, right? That's what we need for the next level. Fourteen oh two. Yep, no XP for disarming traps. Guess I won't be disarming traps anymore. Ooh, a thief's mask. All right. So, uh, oh, we should probably. Oh yeah, the engraved bronze cup. That's exactly what my collection needed. All right, and now that we're back, we can turn in this lady's uh, stolen goods quest. There we go. And then turn in this quest. There's level 10. Nice. Hot on the trail. And this is why we waited. Or why we make sure to pick up her quest before. Excellent. Okay. If you wait and pick up hers until later, then you have to stay in this area. Because the next quest line is going to kind of take us over into the corner and then out of this uh, part of the zone. So it says to go this way. I don't know if that's any faster. We'll find out. I guess it is. But before we go doing any of that, we are level 10, which means that we have points to dispense over here in our stats. Okay, so obviously we want to add to dexterity. And we did put our point into strength, which gives us our stamina regeneration. <sighs> See, I'm kind of torn. I've done no research to see what the, the current meta is for rogues. I probably should do that. 
But recharge speed under charisma is uh, kind of important for your encounters. So, oh, look at that. Our intelligence is actually nine. And here I thought that it was eight. In the previous episode, I did say eight. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the current meta is. So, you know what? For right now, we're just going to go ahead and put it in strength. Um, because that will give us a physical damage boost. So, we should be doing more damage. And um, we can always retrain this at some point. Or at level 30, when we unlock uh, loadouts, we can switch to the other loadout and redo all of our points there. Uh, let's take a look at our powers really quickly. So uh, we have not picked up um, any additional class features. Um, but And we have not picked up another daily yet. And yeah, so we're just still running with what we had. And now we need to talk to Zoe. Well, rebels are everywhere. Watch out for and thanks, Zoe. Yep, close to the crown. Got it. And this is where we get our first free backpack of the game. Hello. All right. Now here we are in the Nasher safe house. Whoa. I do like the dagger springing up thing, it's very cool. Always go after the spellcaster first. Because they will put you in a world of hurt. I'm not sure if we have any arc. No, we don't have any arcane kits. So we won't bother going to grab it. Must I must die. You must die. More lore. We did have a dungeoneering kit. I think we that's like the original one that we picked up down in the in the vault. Nice. Yes. Because you're the big bad boss, but no, take off. You serve the rebel cause. You know, when I first started playing this game, I used to think this stuff was a lot harder. Maybe it was. I don't know. You know, but I remember that, like the first time, I'm talking like 2013, when it came out on PC, I, I remember the Black Lake District being harder. Well, rebels are everywhere. Nine. The Blade of Deftness. That's what we need. All right. See, now we're moving into the next zone, so... But there is another quest we want to pick up over here really quickly. We have to go play in the ooze, the slime. If you have this home, I'll sell this one. Run over here. Get us some sludge. Get rid of them. Oh, we already got that sludge. Mm -hmm. 
Like I knew they were coming or something. We don't have a religion kit, so. All right. So now we are going to continue. Oh, we're gonna go turn this quest in really quick. And uh, then we will go burning supply crates. Most folks can Excellent. Damn. And we're still feeding off of that, uh, let's see. Next 3,700 experience at an increased rate. Oops, didn't mean to do that. But I did want to come over here and sell off all these little treasures that we've been picking up. I'm also going to sell off my boots, this old... Why is that recommended? I should have that equipped, huh? This adventurer's blade? Hmm. All right, we're gonna sell off the tunic. We're gonna sell off the sharp dirk. Not selling that off. Um, we have to equip the thieves mask. Okay, cool. Let's uh, get that stuff equipped really quickly. And open this chest. Sweet Lord, and another bag. Wow, we got two Never Embers incentives. Uh, coupon, portable altars, mount requisition token. Man, there's a lot of crap in there. That's a 12 slot bag. This other bag is an 18 slot bag. So we'll slot that one first. And then we'll slot this one. That way we just have plenty of room. Now we also need to equip this with the balanced dagger. There we go. And then we need to put on our thieves mask. All right. This coupon, 20% off any bag. Yeah, no. We'll go ahead and, um, wait a minute, 20% off any bag. I could. I've got the Zen to do it. <laughs> That's a 42 slot bag. That is the best bag in the game right there. I think I'm going to hold off though. Because other coupons will come later on and I'll be using my main character uh, to, you know, be generating astral diamonds and stuff like that. So we're going to hold off on that. Let's come back in here. Let's get rid of the coupon. Just so we're not uh, enticed by it anymore. Um, Mount Requisition Token. Yeah, okay. So now we will sell off this Bound Portable Altar. Don't need that. Teleport Scroll. Bound to Character. I, you know what? I'll hold on to that and use it at some point when I have to go back to Protector's Enclave anyway. But for the most part, I don't need that because I can. I have VIP, so. All right, sell the dagger. Uh, don't need minor injury kits. Sell those. All right, we are getting good now. A minor potion of rejuvenation. It's worth fifty copper. I'm telling you. Now the quartz we're not going to sell. The quartz we're going to come into our inventory. We're going to come down to inventory options, convert refinement points, choose all gemstones. Oh, look at that. We got 13 crits out of what? 15 units? So yeah. No, I guess we only got 9 crits looking at the bonus. Anyway. Now we can move on and burn supply crates. What was that? Oh. Who is this hiding here? The cloaked man. Shh. Keep your voice down. We have things to discuss. He used to be around the corner, over by the bridge. This was once one of the most populous areas of Neverwinter City. Now it's a lawless ruin. Alright, cool. Side quest. And it looks like their safe house is this way, so we'll go do that first. This is a class driven. Cannot currently interact. Is it because those guys were. Yeah. There we go. 
go. Yeah, so this is a class-driven quest. Every class, uh, you will have someone on in a zone map that will offer you uh, these bonus, or maybe it's uh, based on your race. Uh, like I know that the half orcs, uh, you can get quests for being a half orc. So definitely uh, something worth. Uh, You guys all dead. All right. Kind of hard to shoot an arrow when you got daggers coming up your ass, huh? All right. Anything else I should pick up in here? No. We'll plant the Nasher propaganda. Boom. Done. See? Easy peasy. Just blow through it, get it done. Move on to the Black Lake District or the Tower District. That's where the one for half orcs is that I remember. Alright, so here we oh man, it put us right here in front of him. Nice. Nothing else. All right. Is like the smallest dragonborn in existence. <laughs> I don't know. I just I, I see the little spiky shoulder pads. And all, all right, time to head to the Nasher headquarters. I don't know if they've added new lore. I should probably like stop and read it at some point. All right, so before we uh, continue on, let's uh, come up here. I don't know. I guess we, oh, we do have a dungeoneering kit. You know what? We're not going to use it. We're just going to jump over here and get the sack that way. Yep, we'll save that dungeoneering kit for another time. Because all that dungeoneering kit does is, um, ex if it, if you succeed, it expands the the little board, so that you can uh, just walk over there. Our cause is just. Your cause is not just. Where'd you come from? Stop you? I think I just did. Oh. Get our well rested. Come on. Do I have to be in the fire?
Maybe we have to wait for mending. I, I'm not that I have any wounds. Yeah. All right. So apparently, you can't get well rested from campfires. I thought you could. Well rested gives you a bonus to your stats. So uh, for those of you that didn't know. All right, Karzov. Time to die. Get us the crown. Get us our dagger. Read the letter. Let's equip our dagger before I forget about it. I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll just put the better one in our main hand. I don't think it really matters, but just in case that it does. Oh, embroidered purse is treasure. And we can't put on the crown. I mean, we should at least be able to, like, until we get back to Protector's Enclave, we should be able to put on the crown. We're adventurers, not saints, for God's sakes. And then it's an easy jaunt to the far side of this little map area over here. And we're out. I didn't even really need to do that, but what ifs? To Protector's Enclave we go. All right, and uh, now we just gotta go turn this into Nox, then he'll send us to the tower. Oh, wait. We'll probably have to pick up some other secondary quests here. Protectors on the crown of devil. Yeah. There's trouble in the tower district. The seer. We have to go see Sabella. Uh domination. What does that give us? Fifty-seven experience and eighteen copper. If I don't pick it up, he'll always have it, so I better do it now. Okay, so invocation still didn't pop until at least level eleven, so that's good to know. So before we go see Sabella, we'll finish that quest off. Hello. Whenever you There's our first invocation. Nice. Now she moved. Is she down here now? That's interesting. Hmm. Later on she will be though. But for right now I guess she's down in the vault. I guess because that's I how do they Figure that. Huh. I foresee you I am a Staff of Sovereigns. Look at the Chronicle. Campaigns your hero may complete. Sort the shards, yep. Talk to her. Thank you. Complete it. Collecting the past. And um, she's got a few things in here. If you guys, uh, if you are new to the game and you haven't gotten this far yet, that'd be weird. But anyway, uh, she has, um, you can collect these little uh, tokens uh, from her and you can buy some stuff in here. Uh, this artifact, not very good. This horse, it's just a horse. Um... Definitely get the health stone. Definitely get the retraining token. Because that's what I was talking about earlier. Uh, with uh, After I figure out the correct meta for a rogue, um, I will retrain if I need to. And uh, get the minstrel. And um, yeah, because the minstrel, as you can see, player bonus power, 1,000 power, 500 awareness. And that's at green uh, because companions offer some great benefits now. Uh, so... Minstrel is definitely one that we will probably be uh, 
keeping for quite a while, I would imagine. So, uh, yeah, we're done. And can anyone see Dot? Is Dot even summoned? Dot is summoned. But you can't see Dot. Can't, oh, there it is. I just saw it. Yep, it's this little tiny speck. He gets bigger. Don't worry. What I'll do is when I finish this video, I will, um, if I'm not recording another one right afterwards, which I don't think I am, but uh, I will send him away for training so that he's trained uh, in between gaming sessions. So, let me get on my mount. All right, so we have to collect the orbs, uh, go to the Fallen Tower Tavern. And go see the Domination Battle Master. That's a quick one. There we go. And these quest markers, like that gal right there, uh, that's to learn more about the Dragonborn. I'm not going to bother with it. That's just perfect world and arc and Cryptic Studios saying, hey, look at this premium race. And we're done. Because we won't be doing PvP. All right, so we are going to head to the Tower District. And uh, we'll see how much of it we can get done with the time that we have left. All right, so here we are in the newly renovated Tower District. It looks great. Uh, they've done a great job. There used to be a big um, part of the tower was actually laying right here. I don't know what they plan. On. I don't guess that they plan on doing anything with it, but it does. It's nice to see that they're taking care of some of these older zones. Hey, Tempest give you strength. Good luck out there. The many of some of us. All right. Kill orcs, save guards. Got it. This we can do. And we also have to find our little shards. Oh, where'd he go? I throw shit at me, I throw shit at you. You die now. See? Told you. Thought I was lying to you. <clears throat> they need to come up with some better lines for these guys, that's for sure. Killed an ogre and hit level 14. And I think we're all done. Nope, still a little bit left. 787 experience. Not a problem. You what? Yeah, I know. I got my first lockbox. Be free, captured guard. the movie that that line comes from. 
<laughs> See how good you guys are. And if you're paying attention. I am very, very sneaky, sir. I was like, there's normally a guard over here. There used to be anyway. I like how the guards just drop like a coin or two. I'm like, yeah, thanks. Alright, so we've rescued all the guards that we need to rescue. We've killed all the guys that we need to kill. Now we just need more shards. Oh my god, I think I shard myself. You have collected all you need to complete a campaign task. Excellent. Ooh, look at this. This is like the mother load of potions. Why did they have to separate them out like that though? Alright, so um that's we're all done. We've done everything that we've been tasked to do. We're getting the flock out of here. And... You know, you can go in that. If you're a wizard, you should. There's actually a quest in there for you. Excellent. Well, before we sec All right. Uh, we'll talk to the bounty hunter here. We're willing to pay for service. Get the orc bounty. Turn that in because we've already picked it up. See, that was fast, huh? But we can start getting some better gear just by picking up these uh, mini arrows insignias. So uh, always worth doing, especially on low level. Um, what did I need to? Nothing there. I need to go over here. Campaigns, intro, sort our shards. All right, now we need to go talk to Sabella again so that we can assemble the orb quadrants. That won't take long though. Yep, I like how they've cleaned this place up. I mean, it still looks a little ramshackle with all the orb crap laying around in here, but who are these guys? Just gonna hang out in here. We've got the dispatch. Oh, I'm not in combat. There, now we've got the dispatch. They've totally changed this area up. But I bet you, yep, it's still here. See, I'm so glad we saved that dungeoneering kit from earlier. Because now we can get in here. What? There used to be like an ogre to fight and stuff like that. This is... Alright. I'll take it. It's interesting that they put another uh, nature skill thing in there. So it's behind a dungeoneering one. That's kind of different. Alright, now we have to go to Captain Janros. Janros? Janros. Jan Ross. Jane Ross. 
I don't know. J N R O S. The captain. How's that? Yeah, they've moved some stuff around, moved some people around. Well done. Carry on. According to the All right, into the sewers we go. Yeah, see? They moved the seal vendor. He was over here. He was standing right here. We'll talk to this guy. We'll get the driving back the orcs when we do the skirmish. Uh, that way we get a few XP for it. This chick kind of hangs back in here. What'd they do with the relic hunter guy? Don't know. Anyway, let's go. Actually, let's go ahead and queue up for the skirmish. Let's do that. And it didn't actually do anything nice. Oh my god. <laughs> there. All right, while we're waiting for the queue, we might as well go do something, right? need to pray. That's what we need to do. That's weird. It used to be there. But apparently they've moved it. Now let's see if we can blow through this whole thing before we have to do the queue. Huh? first. He says, I give up. He's laying on the ground. Oh, I give up. Oops. Missed that one. Anything to do back there? No. Oh, look at these guys. Examine the scroll. Ah, oh, more lore. Okay, so see these little like gold pieces? You can actually get like silver and copper. Not the ones that are glowing that the enemies drop, but like this one up here on the shelf. You can pick that one up. So I know it's stupid. It's little. It's minuscule. But when you're a low-level character, anything you can do to help certainly works. You want to get Supplies. Oh, those guys saw me. Drinking a potion? I don't think so. Hey, big boy, you're dead. You guys are dead too. All for an engraved bronze cup. More of these little piles of gold. Not really gold, it's more like copper. Oh, missed that trap. Get my heels on really quick.
Get the lore. Damn traps. guy oh, oh oh as he just fades into nothingness still waiting for that cue I got a daily for you out of sight I can see it it's right there got us a nice ring well I don't know if it's a nice ring but we got us a ring still waiting for this queue who knows we may not be able to hit the queue before uh, I gotta call this off and I think we're about at that point all right sewer crawl is done Still waiting for the skirmish. Watch your back. Fine. Carry on. The many arrows. Taskmasters. Supply crates. Got it. Oh, look at this. They opened up back here. Nice. Are you the task man? No. Yeah, this used to be all closed. Is there anything back here? Probably not, but... No. So it's kind of a useless area anyway. I don't know why they would do that. That doesn't even make sense. Whatever. It's all good. We'll just continue on our way. Look, that guy doesn't even know what hit him. He just has a question mark above his head. He's like, dude, what? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's the last one we need of that. Now we just need to hunt down some taskmasters. The taskmaster. There's one. Oh, that's a beastmaster. I don't think that counts. You're a drudge. There we go. I will kill you. Uh, this is the check with the little wheels. My mistress. Yep. 
They weevil and they wobble. Wait a minute. You die now. We're dealing with circles inside of circles here. There's Taskmaster. Oops, missed. Him. Acquired another Weeble. Taskmaster. You die now. Still waiting for this queue. And it's look, it's another area that we can't. Again, I don't know why they opened that up. Can't do that. There we go. All right, let's go turn this stuff in and that will be it. Oh. Don't worry, Taskmaster, I got gotcha. you. Don't worry about it, bud. Oh, we still need two more weevils. We should probably get that done. Oh, here's a weevil. Uno Moss. There we go. Now we'll go turn all this stuff in and we'll call it Victory. It smells delicious. And pick up more quests from him. Car talk. We have to kill, kill car talk. How are you, friend? Oh, thanks. There we go. Some easy XP. And still no queue. But you know what? That is where we're going to end this episode. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, and I hope you're liking the series. Uh, part three should be coming out here in the next day or so, depending on what my schedule looks like. Um, I wanted to come over here really quick and switch over to gear. I'm digging the mask. That's cool. It hides the fact that she has no nose. <laughs> uh, well, she has a nose. It's just... Uh... Now it actually looks like she has a real nose. That's funny because that's the... The way the mask is built. That is hilarious. All right, cool. Um, so we will leave it um, uh, mostly like that for now. And until next time, I want you guys to take care of yourselves out there. Now, if you have any questions, comments, kicks, or complaints, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. New to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I, this is going to be a long series, and uh, you're going to want to know when I put out another video. So, to do that, make sure you hit the bell notification icon after you hit the subscribe button. And YouTube will let you know. Oh, and just so you know, subscribing, it's free. Go ahead and do it. You'll love it. <gasps> oh, I may just have... Okay, we're extending this. Because we're going to do the... <laughs> oh, man, if I hadn't talked so long... But, it's alright. Uh, we will do the orc assault here... If people will accept, there's four of five. 
All right. If it makes me do this again, then I'm going to call it. Because this video is getting rather long and I'm trying to keep them under an hour or so. Tick tock, tick tock. Ooh, are we going to get it? I don't know. And you know what? We're not going to get it. So uh, I am going to wrap up this video. And until next time, we take care of yourselves out there. This is Draco Invictus saying this has been the greatest day of my life. See ya.